Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Tino and tonight I'm going to be delivering my video on why I am proud to be a Zimbabwean. Now, I'm really sorry that I couldn't be there in person tonight to celebrate Black History Month with you all. However, I hope that this video will give you a true understanding of the cultural beauty that is Zimbabwe, just give you a true feel of what we are all about, and I hope that you guys can come visit sometime soon. Enjoy the show. Zimbabwe is a landlocked country in Southern Africa, well known for its wildlife, large resource of diamonds, and most infamously being led by Robert Mugabe for nearly 40 years. To me, Zimbabwe is so much more than that, and tonight I'm gonna to show you exactly why. I come from a very large family, which is part of the Shona tribe. In Zimbabwe, there are two tribes, Ndebele and Shona. I feel very lucky that I have so many photos here to share with you all, and even a couple of videos just to show you the joy that is in my family. Along with our love for dancing. I'm also proud to be someone with a rich cultural history. My grandfather was Robson David Munika. He started off as a guerrilla in the War for Independence in 1960s Zimbabwe. After the long fight for independence from the British was won, my grandfather went on to become the Deputy Minister of Social Services and Labour. Here, me and my siblings were at Heroes Acre, where my grandfather was laid to rest, alongside others who fought for Zimbabwe. He died before me and my siblings got to meet him. However, his legacy lives on in us, with our passion for social justice matters. I'm proud to have interacted with the wildlife in Zimbabwe, especially being a country that has all of the big five. Despite having left Zimbabwe 20 years ago, I think this is incredibly important. Music also forms a huge part of Zimbabwean culture, and I'm proud that me and my family have been able to remain playing the instruments. As you can see here, my dad and my sister engage in some of the cultural practices. Most recently, my family have opened an African butcher in Southampton City, and I'm incredibly proud to say this because it really helps us to spread the culture of Zimbabwe all over and to bring a community together. A big part of Zimbabwean community is barbecues, and we were able to do this at the Trojan Football Club twice this year. We look forward to what else the club can really bring in for people as we hold barbecues at the back of the butcher in the weekends too. This is a family friendly event and we just look forward to being able to introduce more people to our culture. I'm proud to be a Zimbabwean that is contributing actively to my community and I just look forward to finding more ways to be able to do that and to embrace others whilst doing so.